Chimombasa zone in Dubuaise is commonly known for one thing, commercial sex workers and rogue youth. But you'll be pleasantly surprised to come across a group of youth who are fighting hard to shed off the perception that those who stay in slum residences cannot do anything useful for themselves and others. Eight months ago, Abdallah Kabindo and his colleague Abdelaziz Ziwa chose to turn their hangout base into a training center where they train fellow youth to make slippers, shoes and small artifacts. Our desire is to share ideas and experience. We identified this as a means of diverting us away from crime. Their efforts were further boosted by a Seda Uganda initiative that targets to train Muslim youth in the sprawling residences of Kawempe Division in the entrepreneurship skills. They've already been prepared for the money. They already know how to, it means to, to budget. They already know what my community involves, what businesses can I do there. By the time we go to business planning, they're already super. A few kilometers away in Kazo, one of the beneficiaries of the One Love Youth Development Center, Swaibu Sengonzi, is enjoying his new trade, making jewelry and open shoes. He can earn a profit of up to 100,000 shillings per day if he sells all the 15 pairs of shoes that he makes. You can't even accept that I'm the one making them. You may think that maybe they just come from my blood. Unfortunately, Swaib and his colleagues are yet to get a sustainable market for their goods. <laughs> Our main challenge is getting market for our finished products. Mm. But as the Boise Ghetto Boys point out, they are determined to penetrate the market. After all, they realize their capability to be productive rather than engage in crime and delinquency. We want to uplift our lives such that we stop stealing and harassing the public. Most of us come from slums and we are capable of making many things. Majority of residents in the Kalempe division are Muslims. Previously, their youth were considered to be lazy and apparently had no purpose in life. But Hajat Ray Makasule believes they too have a dream for a good future. We don't want people to start businesses and then they will say, what happens? Where do I get money? So we tell them to think about businesses which they can do within their communities. The Muslim youth have been known of being lazy, we are the undereducated, but at least we have to step up to uplift or I mean to, 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 to overturn all the negative thoughts about the Muslim youth. The entrepreneurship training program has motivated others like Musa Sarunjoji to diversify from refrigeration repairs. He is seeking to expand into cake baking and tailoring. He was introduced to soft skills. Many things I go to learn that I even did know that maybe can exist in life, so like self-discovery, dream making, what. However, government programs like the Youth Venture Fund offer no opportunity for these ghetto boys who would otherwise go a long way in training other out-of-school youth to embrace self-employment. Beyond the training that over 20 youth have benefited from at the Chimombasa One Love Youth Development Center, there has been tremendous behavior change that has resulted into a reduced crime rate in the area. Lebega Emanuel, Personal Finance, WBS News.